क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नाउ बिफोर सॉल्विंग द थर्ड क्वेश्चन आई एम श्योर दैट माय स्टूडेंट्स नो दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑलरेडी बट आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग फॉर माय स्टूडेंट्स सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज माय होम दिस इज माय होम दिस इज माय ऑफिस राइट दिस इज माय होम द अदर साइड इज माय ऑफिस एवरी डे आई विल ट्रैवल फ्रॉम माई होम टू ऑफिस अलॉन्ग द सेम पाथ इफ आई ट्रैवल एवरी डे फ्रॉम माई होम टू ऑफिस अलॉन्ग द सेम पाथ वॉट इज कॉन्स्टेंट डिस्टेंस इज कॉन्स्टेंट इफ आई ट्रैवल एवरी डे फ्रॉम होम टू ऑफिस विल द डिस्टेंस चेंज नो डिस्टेंस विल नॉट चेंज दट मीन्स डिस्टेंस इज कॉन्स्टेंट वी नो दट स्पीड इज गिवन बै डिस्टेंस बै टाइम एंड इन सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम वाट वी साल्व वेर विल डिस्टेंस विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट इफ डिस्टेंस इज कॉन्स्टेंट कैन ऐ से दट speed and time are inversely proportional to each other right speed and time are inversely proportional to each other i will come back to this concept after some time anyway again i will come back to this concept but what i want to tell you is if the speed increases the time taken to reach the office will decrease or if i decrease my speed i should take more time to reach the office provided the distance from my home to office is constant distance if it does not change speed and time will be inversely proportional to each other i am sure that you know this concept already now see here third question again is a very very easy question let us solve all the easy questions initially to understand better to take it forward for next level questions listen carefully sir your third question is a man walked at a rate of 4 kilometers per hour from point a to b that means a person is traveling from a to b let us represent it via diagram a person is traveling from a to b a man walked at a speed of 4 kilometers per hour from point a to b and came back from b to a at the speed of 6 kilometers per hour he is traveling back from b to a at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour what would be the ratio between the time taken by man in walking from a to b and to b to a respectively that means time ratio is what they are asking time from a to b and time from b to a this particular ratio is what they require it is very very easy because we understood the concept behind solving this question can i say that from a to b he is traveling at a speed of 4 kilometers per hour from b to a he is traveling at a speed of 6 kilometers per hour speed ratio is 4 is to 6 4 is to 6 is nothing but 2 is to 3 and the distance from this place to this place is constant distance from a to b is constant if the distance is constant speed speed ratio if it is 2 is to 3 time ratio will be the reciprocal so time ratio will be 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 if i take lcm and simplify i will end up with 3 is to 2 time and speed are inversely proportional to each other provided distance is constant again a very very easy question and we will understand the concept slowly slowly as we proceed with some other questions i believe that it is also very clear for you people and i am very happy that many students are all, already answering the questions very fast keep having the same approach sir keep doing it little fast so that you will not miss out in any questions in your examination please see this question again not that of a difficult question see this question a bike covers a certain distance that means the distance is constant right distance is constant a bike covers a certain distance at the speed of 64 kilometers per hour in 8 hours that means can i say that distance is nothing but speed into time speed is given as 64 kilometers per hour and time is given as 8 hours right time is given as 8 hours so distance that he needs to travel is 64 into 8 64 is 2 power 6 8 is 2 power 3 2 power 6 into 2 power 3 is 2 power 9 which is 512 kilometers distance that he need to travel is 512 kilometers right distance that he need to travel is 512 kilometers what is the next statement if the bike was to cover the same distance he still needs to cover the same distance of 512 kilometers if the bike was to cover the same distance in approximately 6 hours what approximate speed should he drive a bike at now see here sir now he needs to travel the same distance of 512 kilometers 
speed is given by distance by time distance is still need to travel is 5 12 kilometers and time earlier he was taking 8 hours now he needs to only take 6 hours to travel the distance so it is 512 divided by 6 512 divided by 6 it is 85.33 kilometers but 85.33 is not there in the answer options but the question is asking you for approximate value approximately the answer is 85 kilometers per hour answer for this question is 85 kilometers per hour keep listening to all the problems until it is completed sir first 15 to 20 minutes is a warm-up session then we will actually jump on to the original match just to keep on having faith in this content and keep listening to the, all the classes do not worry about do not worry about what is the level of difficulty at this point of a time. Just keep on leathering. See here. This kind of questions has come in the examination multiple times. Using this kind of questions, we will also solve some of the very difficult questions in the most easiest way possible. Listen carefully, sir. Your question is... I will solve this question in two methods, whichever the methodology which you are comfortable with, please follow that particular method. Now see here, your question is, walking at 3 by 4th of his usual speed, walking at 3 by 4th of his usual speed, a man is 12 minutes late in reaching his office from home. Find his usual travel time. Walking at 3 by 4th of his usual speed. A man is 12 minutes late in reaching his office from home. Find his usual travel time. Now listen carefully sir. I will teach you two methods. The methodology whichever you are comfortable please follow that method. Now see here. Suppose this is my home. Suppose this is my home. The other side is my office. Every day I will travel from my home to office along the same path. The distance will not change. That means the distance is constant. Now listen carefully sir. Every day I will travel from my home to office along the same path. And every day I will travel with my usual speed of yes kilometers per hour or yes meters per second. Similarly, every day I will take t minutes to reach the office. That means usual scenario is I will usually take s yes kilometers per hour s yes, kilometers per hour is the usual speed what I travel with. Every day I will usually take t minutes to reach the office and I will travel a distance of d kilometers. Now that is the first day scenario. Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance is equal to speed into time. This is the everyday scenario. Right? This is the everyday scenario. But what is the question? Walking at 3 by 4th of his usual speed. Walking at 3 by 4th of his usual speed. Every day I used to travel at yes kilometers per hour. But today because of some problem, I am traveling at 3 by 4th of his usual speed. Because I am reducing my speed from yes kilometers per hour to 3 by 4th of yes, I will take more time to reach the office. How much more time I will take? A man is 12 minutes late in reaching the office from home every day yes kilometer today i traveled at 3 by 4th of yes and therefore i took 12 minutes more than t 12 minutes late is nothing but 12 minutes more i took so that means speed is reduced time is increased but will the distance from home to office change the distance will never change distance will not change distance will still remain d itself so right hand side is still d itself first equation second equation if I solve these two equations, right hand side of equation 1 and 2 are same. Equate the left hand side. Left hand side of equation 1 is yes into t. Left hand side of equation 2 is 3 by 4 into yes into t plus 12. If I simplify further, if I simplify further, yes will cancel out. Cross multiply. This is 4 into t is equal to. Here also multiply. It is 3 into t. Plus 3 into 12 is 36. 4t minus 3t is nothing but t. t is equal to 36 minutes. But what is that they are asking you in the question? They are asking you the question. Find the usual travel time. Usual travel time is denoted as t itself in my notation. So that is what they are asking you for. Actually answer for this question is t is equal to 36 minutes. t is equal to 36 minutes is the answer for this question. 
क्वेश्चन बट दिस इज माई मेथड वन एनी स्टूडेंट हु इज इंटरेस्टेड इन सॉल्विंग बाई यूजिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ मेथडोलॉजी यू शुड नेवर लिजन टू अनिल नायर क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी ओल्ड मेथडोलॉजीज विच विल किल अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन अवर एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज इट इन्वॉल्व वेरिएबल्स and it involves equations we need to form two equations solve those two equations get the value of one variable and if required we need to back substitute to get the value of another variable very very time consuming process which we are not at all interested with so let us not use this methodology to solve our problem i hope method 1 is very very clear but not interested this was your method 1 right this was your method one let us not implement this methodology to solve our problem let us use a completely different analysis so that we will probably solve some of the questions without using pen and that too conceptually without using any variables or formulas listen carefully sir now what is the question let us read the question once again walking at 3 by 4th of the usual speed a man is 12 minutes late in reaching his office from home now listen carefully can i say that speed is equal to distance by time right speed is equal to distance by time so distance is equal to speed into time right distance is equal to speed into time the question says walking at 3 by 4th of the usual speed speed is given as 3 by 4 and we know that distance from home to office is constant it is not changing if the distance is constant speed and time are inversely proportional to each other that means if speed is given as 3 by 4 time will be nothing but reciprocal or the inverse which is 4 by 3 right time is nothing but 4 by 3 now what is the meaning of time is 4 by 3 Time is four by three is nothing but listen carefully, sir. This is the very very important point. Time four by three is nothing but you have a numerator, you have a denominator. I have told this particular thing in so many topics of mine. I am repeating again for all the students who have not listened to my previous classes. You have a numerator, you have a denominator. Your denominator will always represent your initial value or the actual value. or the usual value all the all the notations are same denominator will always represent your initial value or the actual value or the usual value and i am talking about time that means this denominator 3 it will represent the usual time taken right denominator 3 will represent usual time taken that means usually every day i will take 3 minutes to reach the office every day usually i will take 3 minutes to reach the office but today i took how many minutes today i took 4 minutes to reach the office every day i will take 3 minutes but today i took 4 minutes every day 3 minutes today 4 minutes that means i am late by how many minutes i am actually late by 1 minute according to this fraction according to this fraction i am late by 1 minute according to this fraction i am late by 1 minute but according to the question in the question says he is late by how many minutes he is late by 12 minutes according to the fraction i am late by 1 minute according to the question i am late by 12 minutes 1 is becoming 12 multiply by 12 3 also multiply by 12 Three is three into twelve is how much? Thirty six minutes. Usual time taken according to fraction is three minutes. So according to the question, my answer is how much? Thirty six minutes. I am not at all interested in teaching any problems in this method where you will form two equations, solve two equations, get the value of variables. We will completely use a different strategy to solve time, speed, and distance problem. Probably will fall in love with my content. in the next one and a half hours of my class i hope everyone is very very clear with the logic which we have discussed sir according to the fraction speed is nothing but given in the question as 3 by 4 so time will be 4 by 3 the meaning of time 4 by 3 is nothing but denominator will represent the initial value or the actual or the usual value and i am talking about a time usual time taken is 3 minutes but today i took 4 minutes that means i am late by 1 minute but question says i am late by 12 minutes one should become 12 multiply by 
3 also multiply by 12. 3 into 12 is how much? 36 minutes. I believe that every student listening to the class is very very clear with the concept what we have discussed. Kindly comment in the live chat if it is clear for you people. I will take another question similar kind of it where my students probably will try to sell the answer without using pen. See here. Walking at 9 by 5th of his usual speed. Walking at 9 by 5th of his usual speed. A man is 44 minutes early in reaching his office from home. Find his usual travel time. Please do not use your pen. In fact, you, this question does not deserve a pen if you have understood my previous question. But probably I am using the pen for you to understand it. Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance is equal to speed into time. So walking at 9 by 5th of the usual speed. Speed is given as 9 by 5. Time will be how much? 5 by 9. What is the meaning of time 5 by 9? Denominator represents usual time taken. Usual time taken is 9 minutes. Every day I will take 9 minutes to reach the office. But today I took only 5 minutes to reach the office. Every day 9 minutes. Today I took only 5 minutes. That means I am early by 4 minutes. But the question says I am early by how many minutes? 44 minutes. 4 should become 44. Multiply by 11. 9 also multiply by 11. 9 into 11 is how much? 99 minutes. One of the very very easy question. Only if you know the concept what we have discussed right now, you will be probably able to solve this question within 5 seconds of time. And that too underline the statement without using pen. I believe that it is very very clear for you people. Ramana Venkat, walking at 9 by 5th of usual speed. Speed is given as 9 by 5. Time is reciprocal 5 by 9. The meaning of time 5 by 9 is denominator is nothing but usual time taken Ramana Venkat. Usual time taken. Every day I will take 9 minutes to reach the office. But today I took only 5 minutes Ramana. So that means every day 9 minutes. Today I took 5 minutes. That means I am early by how many minutes? I am early by 4 minutes. 9 minus 5 is how much Ramana? It is 4. I am early by 4 minutes. But question says I am early by 44 minutes. 4 is becoming 44. Multiplying factor is 11. 9 also multiply by 11 sir. 9 into 11 is 99 minutes. Ramana Venkat, I believe that it is very very clear for you. 